Have you ever had a team member not quite live up to your expectations? Have you felt like, gosh, it's almost like they just don't care or that they maybe even have it out for me. They don't, they, they're almost trying to ruin my day. I mean, everything they do seems to be just not right. You know, I want you to think about that. A lot of times those thoughts and feelings come from inside of us. And it's really important that we stay with an outward mindset at all times when that kind of thing happens. So remember that everybody else has their own story. Now there are times where people maybe have gotten to the point where they just don't care. And you know, that's a problem. That's a problem. You've got to recenter them back on the group mission or you've got to find people who do care. But let's talk about how we deal with corrective action without jumping to weird conclusions and things like that. And so, you know, it's really comes through healthy conversations and we have these healthy conversations all the time. The best kind of healthy conversations come preemptively, proactively. It's just like dentistry, prevention is the key, right? So we set the stage with our team that this is our culture. We, lo we look at the culture guide, we, we align with those expectations, we ask everybody to agree with them, okay? But anytime maybe there's something that isn't covered in that culture guide or whatever it may be, you know, where what you expected was here, what you got was here, and now we have a gap in between the two. And that expectation gap, anytime your expectations are unmet, it creates stress, stress situations. And so you've either got to close the gap or it's going to continue to widen because the more, the more you leave that gap there, the more it becomes glaring, it becomes difficult to deal with, and it causes causes you to actually see other people's faults even more. And so take the example of somebody showing up late, right? We talk about that in our culture guide, right? We wanna be not only on time, but we wanna be early. And I'm grateful that I have a team of people that show up early, they get prepared. But you know, we had to work on identifying what preparedness really looked like. So it took coaching, it took time. So anytime there were gaps, like, look, I really need you to chart prep every day. You know, one of the things that's so critical is that I know that you are painstakingly prepared for every patient. You know when they've been here, what we've talked about, if I've met them, you know, what the situation is. And I need you to be a game like that for me every single day. And, and then I ask the team member to commit to that. Say, you know, my expectation is that this is how we do it. You know, today I felt like I got this. I'd like to close that gap and I wanna know how I can support you to close that gap. And so I ask how I can help serve them to close that gap. It allows me to mentally get to a place of empathy saying, hey, I see that you you have challenges. Maybe you didn't know. I did you know, I have to assume if you knew better, you would do better. I don't necessarily say that to team members, but that's the mindset that I have. And so I, I just help them to make sure they know what's expected. I coach them and then I keep asking them to keep improving. And so the key to that is that we communicate where we want it to be, the standard, this inspired standard. And then we keep coaching people to get there. We don't get frustrated. We don't throw the relationship under the bus. We stay focused on the end goal, the end result that we're shooting for and keep working to make it happen each and every day.